Welcome to the Book Babble for September. It's been an interesting month. Half our house had to be rebuilt. Well, not half. Um, a bit attached to our house had to be rebuilt, which is why we have some very interesting... See, you can see the blinds. I'm not going to show you the rebuilding because it's tedious and it's all done. So, yay. Right. Um, so we're going to start with a series. Uh, the National Park series, um, there by Scott Graham. Um, he's actually a Tory House Press author, and um, Tory House Press is local to uh, Utah. Um, but these are very good. This is the latest one, Yosemite Fall. Um, they're all set in a different national park. The very first one is Canyon Sacrifice, and um, his main character is an archaeologist. The archaeologist um, moves around the different national parks taking contracts. He has a young family with him. Um, his wife is Latina, I think, um, and so their two kids are obviously Latina too. Um, he has two daughters uh, with his ready-made family, and so it is um, he and his family get into scrapes in different parts of the country, always in a national park. Um, the covers of these are always uh, a national park um, painting, I think. So this one obviously is set in Yosemite. It's a good series, and like I said, Canyon Sacrifice is the first one. So we're moving on to a book I bought, and it's it's not very sexy this one because um, I actually oops, still have the receipt in it. It's The Trinity Six by Charles Cumming. Um, as I said, it's it's not very sexy because the cover's missing. Um, <laughs> I, I love Charles Cumming's books. These aren't a series, they're a, a bunch of different standalones. Um, the very first one I read of his was Typhoon, um, which was set in Hong Kong. And I had just come back from Hong Kong, so I related very much with uh, what the book was um, about. Um, these are mainly spy thrillers, um, but I always say to people that John le Carre's books are great, but they're very, very slow, and if you like a slow burn, then great, but if you want something to happen quickly, then Charles Cumming is your guy, because he, um, he writes Car le Carre-esque, but like I said, stuff happens, and it happens quickly. So um, I would highly recommend these if you haven't read them before. Um, and I will not hold this one up again because, like I said, the cover's missing. Um, I have a bunch of these which are out on loan. No surprise there. Um, so now uh, we're on to um, coming soon. Um, you may be able to hear a soundtrack in the background. That's basically I did a Spotify um, just mix. So it's just general stuff that Spotify thinks I might like. And so far it's right. So, yes, coming soon. Um, so there are two. Uh, one is actually out, so it's technically all, it's already here, um, but I think it deserves uh, mention because it's um, it's another Anthony Horowitz, but it's a different series and it's actually, a, I think it's a standalone, but he might turn this into a, st into a series. Um, it's called The Word is Murder and um, it is about a disgraced detective called Daniel Hawthorne and Daniel decides that he wants to make some money. So he's consulted on a TV show which is written by a guy called Anthony Horowitz. How meta can you get? Um, Horowitz uh, isn't too keen on the idea of um, writing a book with uh, Hawthorne who is from the Northern Charm School um, and splitting the profits 50-50 but it's a very interesting premise that Hawthorne presents him with. A woman goes to plan her funeral and the same day she is murdered. And Horowitz and Hawthorne are sort of um, chalk and cheese. They don't get on very well. Um, but Horowitz can't help but get caught up in the case and starts to follow Hawthorne around. As I said, the, the character of Anthony Horowitz is um, I think a very much caricatured version of himself, but he does talk about um, the script writing that he does for um, the things for Foil's War and um, Midsummer Murders and things like that. So it's it's kind of it's 
it's it's not autobiographical, but he's used a character that has the same name as him, and and it is a it's a good, interesting mystery. The other one is uh, coming soon, as in it's. I'm not even sure when it's published. In fact, I can check that because it's coming out. Ooh. I think it might be being republished um, because I'm reading it right now and it's not the, um, I think it might have changed publishers. It's called Zero Sum Game by S.L. Huang, H-U-A-N-G. Um, and it is about a, um, a recovery specialist. Basically, you tell her what she what you want her to get and she will bring it to you. Whether it's a person, a thing, um, Cass Russell can do it. And one of the reasons that she can do this is because she is a maths genius. Basically, maths is to her like breathing. She can calculate vectors and, um, and use angles and... Uh, she can work out in her head how to throw something and have it hit the person that she's actually aiming at. Um, she's also very good with a gun and an umbrella. Um, I'm about halfway through it and it, I'm absolutely loving it because it has, I think fans of the Jane Hawke series would like it too because it has a, um, a lone wolf female protagonist up against uh, one of these giant organisations that seems to know everything before she does, um, and yeah, it is a it's a it's a fun read, and I can't show it to you because I'm reading it on my iPad because I couldn't find a um, an advanced reader's copy of it. I hate doing that, but sometimes needs must. So that's the two that are coming soon. One is a little bit of a cheat, but. Uh, I'm still not quite sorted out from the parents being here in July, so apologies for that. Um, okay, so um, the two advanced ones I do have because I just blurbed them and I'm about to take them back in. So um, first one is An Anonymous Girl. This is by uh, Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. I may have said her name wrong. Sorry, Sarah, if I have. Um, they wrote a book that came out last year called The Wife Between Us, which I did not read, um, simply because uh, nobody ever... <laughs> I didn't get an advanced copy of it. But this one, um, I really enjoyed. Uh, it is about a, um, a morality study that is done uh, for, I think, NYU. Um, and one of the girls that ends up on the study, technically she shouldn't have been there in the first place. Uh, she kind of lied her way in. But um, she is subject number 52, and um, subject number five, uh, a few years before her, um, actually died. And subject 52 is making the same mistakes that subject five did. It's a very um, cat and mouse book but it's very enjoyable. And this is coming out, gosh, when's it coming out? It's uh, actually not until next year, it's January the 8th of 2019. So keep an eye out for An Anonymous Girl. It's very good. Okay, other one. Last Woman Standing, uh, this is by Amy Gentry. Uh, this one also comes out in January of next year. Um, I'm reading that far ahead now. Um, this is January 15th next year, and it's a, a female stand-up comic. Um, she uh, was in uh, Los Angeles, but she kind of got chased out by a, a sort of a Me Too incident. Um, and she's back in Austin, Texas, and uh, she's regrouping and getting ready to uh, relaunch her career when she meets this woman called Amanda. And Amanda is a computer programmer, so she's a, a woman in a man's world. And Amanda has an agenda, and it involves some revenge, and she wants a partner. And so um, Dana, who is the uh, main character in this, the stand-up comedian, is enlisted to help her. Um, it's kind of Strangers on a Train. Uh, you know, you do my crime and I'll do yours. Um, but then the stakes start going higher and, um, and Dana is 
not sure she wants to continue, but Amanda is determined to finish her list. So yeah, this again, January, again, really good. Stand up comedy, it's a different, I think I read one, um, uh, the Ed, not Edgar Cantero, uh, the last comic, not last comic standing, it was, um, it was about, it was 10 dead, 10, 10 dead comedians by Fred Van Lente, that was a couple of years ago. So apparently, Comedians are big again. So that was brilliant. And so we've got a couple of follow ups. Um, the Thomas Perry, The Burglar, really good. Really liked it. Um, it could become a series. We'll have to keep our fingers crossed. And The Mycroft and Sherlock by um, Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Wow. Seriously. Um, I did not know that Kareem Abdul Jabbar actually is a huge huge Sherlock Holmes fan and used Holmes's um, techniques in his basketball game. I, um, I can't speak to that because I've never actually seen him play but uh, yeah the, that, the, this Mycroft and Sherlock is the second book in the series. I'm not sure what the first one is but I'm gonna find it and read it because really really good. Um, and that is it I think. Um, yeah, so that's all for September, and I will see you in October. Bye for now.